historical reference of the breed and subgroup. The Wolfspitz, Verkischend, is a breed of working dog whose ancestors, in all likelihood, are the shepherd dogs of the Middle Ages. These good-natured bold energetic dogs can adapt to life in an urban environment, but feel better outside the city. They do not tolerate loneliness, they constantly need to communicate with the person. The Spitz belongs to the group of Spitz-shaped dogs, which are characterized by a pointed muzzle, sharp, erect ears and a tail curled into a ring and thrown back. These dogs, the oldest known to man, trace their origins to the fossil peat dog. Thousand years of communication with humans has turned the Spitz into a very intelligent dog, devoted to the owner and his family. Bram wrote, the Spitz is to the home, what the shepherd dog is to the herd. Spitz are also valued because, with unconditional affection and loyalty to their master, they are extremely cheerful, and, moreover, are not at all afraid of rain or cold. They cannot sit on a chain, but they are indispensable, where they can guard the yard, run free. He also writes that during long journeys in wagons and wagons, it was precisely small Spitz who were taken as a watchman. Like a firm in this dog, not requiring a lot of space, and not afraid of the cold, was always at hand. Possessing the sharpest hearing, she, like a bell, reported the approach of a stranger. Spitz also served to protect vineyards from birds, and large varieties for shepherd's service. This subgroup was very popular in Germany, where in the Lower Rhine district in 1450 the designation Spitzund appeared, and selection work began in the 18th century. By this time, White Spitz was bred mainly in Eberswold and Pomerania, grey along the Rhine, Black Spitz was bred in Württemberg, where it was mainly used to guard vineyards. The German Wolf Spitz stands out as a separate breed, the largest, strongest, with a more lush and coarse coat. Its height at the withers is up to 60 centimeters, spreading around the areas of Germany around Dusseldorf, Aachen, and Krefeld. In the same historical period, the nobility pays attention to the hardworking Spitz, and the Spitz turn into pets. Work begins on the miniaturization of the breed. In a short time, through selection, the dogs became two to three times smaller than their ancestors, from 14 kilograms their weight decreased to five to seven. The history of the origin of Kishand is intertwined with the history of mankind. The oldest dog found near a human settlement was classified by archaeologists as spit-shaped. And the happy owner of the Kishand does not even suspect that he, perhaps, is caressing the distant, distant descendant of the very dog that helped the ancient man wrapped in skins drive the last mammoth into the trapping pit. For centuries, endurance has been cultivated in spits, because dogs, unable to run 20 to 30 kilometers behind the owner's horse, simply got lost in the forest and became the prey of wolves. There are currently two types of this wonderful breed. European wolf spits and American quichand. Only a good connoisseur of this breed is able to accurately distinguish between them. It will be useful for those interested in this breed to learn about the existence of light and dark colors. From the point of view of expertise, both of these options are equivalent, but among amateurs, two camps are clearly marked, lovers of light and admirers of dark dogs. The tone of the color depends on the ratio of the black and light parts of the outer hair. If less than one third of the hair is dyed, the dog will be light, if more, dark. The undercoat is always light. Separately, it is necessary to mention the structure of the undercoat. Unfortunately, little attention is paid to this issue, but the appearance of the dog and the splendor of the coat depend on the structure of the undercoat. Wolf Spitz is able to protect people, children, apartments and houses. With proper training, he boldly goes to detain the intruder, and, finally, simply delights the views of people with his magnificent appearance. General form. Medium size, strong, hardy, agile, energetic dog. Characteristic features are erect, pointed ears, a sharp fox muzzle, a lush tail twisted over the back, a long, thick, fluffy, upright coat. Features of behavior and character. Temperament is lively, moderately excitable. Spits are energetic, agile, emotional and alert. Easily trainable. Height at the withers. From 45 to 55 centimeters. Kishand is very strongly attached to the human family in which he lives. Some breeds are strongly attached to one person, others to all members of the human family, others may have a friendly attitude towards all people in general, and the fourth may not have close ties even with the owner. Kishand is strongly attached to all members of the human family in which he lives. They are also quite happy with strangers, but they are wary of them. The attitude of any dog to strangers strongly depends on the breed of the pet, but even more strongly this attitude depends on the upbringing and socialization of a particular individual, while socialization in the early puppyhood of a pet is especially important in this regard. At the same time, Kishin gets along great with children. However, regardless of the dog's friendly attitude towards children, a dog of any breed should not be left alone with small children. Some breeds of dogs are more relaxed about the behavior of young children, and may not pay attention to semantics of children, however, it should be understood that dogs of all breeds, no matter how friendly they are, 
should be with children only under the supervision of the owner or adults, since in addition to the qualities of the breed in relation to children, there are also the individual characteristics of each dog, its upbringing and previous experience in communicating with children. Even these relationships are largely influenced by the behavior of children. With other dogs Kishin finds a common language quite well, and they get along well with each other, if, of course, other dogs show similar behavior. Different breeds of dogs treat their own kind differently. Some dogs will play and interact in every possible way with dogs they meet or live with. Other breeds may try to dominate or even attack similar four-legged ones. At the same time, the relationship between dogs can be very different from how a dog will react to people. The behavior of a dog in relation to other dogs and people depends not only on the breed, but also on the socialization of a particular individual. Communication Kishin with small pets such as hamsters, domestic rats, squirrels, chinchillas and other rodents is better to limit. However, it is better to keep a dog of any breed away from small pets. Cats can get along. One of the big advantages of the Kishin breed is the undemanding nature of this breed to the owner's dog ownership experience. Some dog breeds are easier to keep and train, while others are more independent and even assertive and require an experienced owner. The Kishin breed is perfect for inexperienced dog owners, or even those who get a dog for the first time. Kishins are also just fine for keeping in an apartment, but keep in mind that they do not tolerate loneliness and cannot be left alone for a long time. The quality and quantity of wool allow Kishin to comfortably endure any cold and short-term heat. Very high temperatures are no longer safe for the four-legged. Active loads should be avoided in the warm season. Learning and training. All dogs can be trained and trained, but some breeds remember and execute commands faster and more readily than other breeds. Different breeds need a different approach to training and education. Some breeds may appear to be poorly trainable or even stupid, however, in most cases, a dog breed's trainability is due to the stubborn or independent nature of the dog breeder individual. Also of great importance in the trainability of a dog is the role of what training methods the trainer uses for a particular breed. In the book The Intelligence of Dogs, published in 1994 and written by University of British Columbia Vancouver psychology professor Stanley Korn, Kishin is ranked 16th out of 80 in terms of learning ability. In this regard, the breed is on a par with such breeds as Shipper and Collie. In Professor Stanley Corrin's book, Kishin is located in the group. Dogs with excellent learning abilities. Mastering a new team from 5 to 15 repetitions. Execution of the command from the first time in 85% of cases and above. Tendency to bark. Among other things, breeds differ in the level of noise, or rather, in the frequency of their barking. Some breeds can bark all the time without stopping, and never get tired of barking at every stranger or strange dog that passes by your house or by herself. Other breeds bark only on business, when it is necessary in her opinion, and still others can only give a voice in exceptional cases. Kishin has a tendency to bark for no reason. But the desire to gnaw these dogs do not stand out. The desire to gnaw and taste everything is common to puppies of all breeds, but as adults, different breeds have varying degrees of propensity to explore the world with their teeth. Kishin is not prone to such pranks. Activity and energy level. According to the level of charge and activity, breeds can also be divided into active and calm or even lazy. An active dog will require constant walks, training and frequent mental stimulation from you. Calm and less energetic dogs will be happy with short walks around the house and will gladly share your desire to lie on the couch at home. This feature should be taken into account when choosing a pet, since the unfulfilled needs of an active animal will be realized at home on the things and objects of your home. The amount of energy in the dog also determines with what desire and for how long the dog will play games with you or with your child under your supervision. Kishin tend to be very playful, with quick reflexes and strong jumping abilities. They are thoughtful, eager to please, and learn very quickly, which means they also quickly learn things that people didn't intend to teach them. In fact, this bright, sturdy dog is so amenable to proper training that it has been successfully trained to serve as a guide for the blind. Only their small size prevented them from being more widely used in this role. Many of the behavioral issues with Kishin stem from these intelligent dogs inventing their own games out of boredom. They need daily contact with their owners and lots of activity to stay happy. In addition, many breeds have an innate desire to chase moving objects and animals. The degree of this desire may vary from breed to breed. If this innate instinct is highly developed in a dog, you need to carefully monitor the pet during a walk and keep it on a leash, since any moving object can provoke the dog to chase, even if it is a car that can harm the animal. At such moments the dog can disobey the call of the owner and switch all your attention to the moving target. In addition, such breeds pose an additional danger to small domestic animals and birds. However, although Kishin has this instinct in abundance, he is most often able to cope with it. Passion for vagrancy and love of freedom. 
Some breeds have a tendency to cover long distances on their fours, for which they were bred, so these dogs, following their instinct, will not miss the opportunity to escape from you and run a couple of kilometers, despite your calls. Sled dogs, hounds and bloodhounds are mainly inclined to such walks. Kishand, as a rule, does not have the habit of running away from the owner. Tendency to drool. The amount of saliva produced depends on the characteristics of the breed. Some breeds salivate, so much that they can leave marks on the carpet, on the sofa, on the floor and on you. Other breeds also salivate, but this happens in much less quantities. Fortunately Kishan produces very little saliva. But the amount of wool that Kishan leaves behind is very large. The amount of dog hair in your home and on your clothes depends a lot on what breed you choose. Some breeds shed all year round, others only seasonally, others hardly shed. This characteristic of the breed can be important depending on where you plan to keep the pet, whether members of your family are allergic to animal hair, and how important it is to you in general. Dog care. Some breeds may require a lot of grooming and attention due to coat characteristics, muzzle shape, habitat, or the general health of the breed. Because of their double coat, Kishin eat regular brushing. About an hour a week will be required to keep the dog in good shape. The Kishin's coat sheds dirt when it dries, and this breed is not prone to doggy odor, so frequent bathing is neither necessary nor desirable. The coat acts as insulation and protects the dog from sunburn and insects. General health of the breed on a 10-point scale. The general health of dogs of this breed and the possibility of the appearance of genetic diseases in them can be assessed on a 10-point scale of 7 points, that is, they are quite healthy dogs with a minimum number of genetically predisposed diseases. The Kishin is generally a very healthy breed. Although congenital health problems are uncommon, Kishin has been known to occasionally experience conditions such as hip dysplasia, paddler luxation, epilepsy, Cushing's disease, diabetes, and hypothyroidism. As with any breed, it is important when buying a Kishin puppy to make sure that both parents have been tested and certified to be free of inherited problems. Test results are available from the breeder or directly from the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals website. The average lifespan of a Kishin conducted by the British Kennel Club was 12 years 2 months. 1 in 4 died of old age, with an average age of 14.